to quote again. Uh, I am Clute is not a band, it's a world. What is that world? Sure <laughs> it's my quote. Well, no, Andy and Pete think, I think they do think I'm being a bit pretentious here, but maybe I am a bit pretentious, I quite like it. But do they, do, they, do they often think that? Or is no, it? no, 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 okay, it's just, just about, mate, okay. I, think th I think we all agree what, kind of what I'm saying here, but uh, maybe I've gone too far. I just think that, I just think it, it, that's what, what, what happens when you get into a band, or if you go and see a, a gig of ours, or you, you get into the record, it's like entering a world that's been invented, and you can just be in that world for an hour. And uh, that's what I think, really, that's what really good bands do, great bands do. And, you know, I suppose I'm thinking that's what we do, so... Uh, Maybe it's a bit egotistical, but there, it's yeah. escapism, isn't it? You get, you come and see something, you get into it, you change your mind from what you were doing in the day or whatever you were thinking previous to that, and you just step out of that and and um, just get your head into into the music, which I suppose is what Johnny's saying as well. Hmm. And what kind of world are you entering then when you play your songs? Well, my world is that I put my head down, I shut my eyes, <laughs> and. Um, I just um, don't think of anything and just feel really, really good. <laughs> and um, as I'm playing, listening to it, it's a bit of a fan, really. So it's a bit of a pleasure for me, this job. Mm. So it's so it's the best job you've had? Oh, Christ, yeah. yeah. I've had some rum jobs, yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> and which were? Uh, um, I put bottles on the line, put, uh, dig holes, plaster. Digging them. holes. I used to be a bartender, a waiter, I used to be a chef. And uh, plastering. I didn't know you were a chef. Yeah, I did a bit of chefing. Yeah, I was a, I was an under chef. Under chef. Yeah. Almost, almost chef. I used to prepare salad and um, and uh, dessert. Okay. One day I did bar meals, but it wasn't very good. Okay. And <laughs> I was wondering, how do you, how does a song come about? Do you write everything, or do, do you come with ideas and then the two of you? Put in your own. How do you? Yeah, generally Johnny comes with the like the kind of bare bones of it, you know, melody, a few chords here and there, a bit of a word. <laughs> I like that phrase, the bare bones. <laughs> and then, oh, and then melody in the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. and the <laughs> no. And then me and Peter completely Flesh rearrange it. it. <laughs> <laughs> totally rearrange it. Say that's rubbish. Claim all the glory. <laughs> well, get on the keyboard. No, we saw, we end. just he comes in with it, and we kind of. Like Pete was pointing to him out yesterday, actually, which is pretty true. It's, it kind of. Often Johnny starts playing a song in the rehearsal room, and it's funny that it, we either join in or don't. Yeah. And it kind of, if we don't join in, it's like it's not happening. Yeah. I never really thought about it, but that's kind of what happens. It does happen sometimes. It does happen. He's going, I've got a new tune. Uh, uh, oh. Check this and out. I've sat there playing it, and then two just sat there, and I, you know, and, I'm, and then I finished playing it, and I'm like, which is terrible. Sit around for twenty minutes, yeah. and then I'm, and after that I'm like, I think I might go home now. <laughs> 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 But it's, you know, it's nine times feeling. out of ten we oh, do well, join yeah, in, and it's really it's very rare. Very rare that, that happens. Yeah. But it's uh, it's a pretty much a hard, weird feeling, yeah. And we're like, it's sort of going on oh, here. So it's like <laughs> jukebox jury for John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would like, I don't know if it works, but um, ask the two of you what his part is, and two of you what his oh, part right. is, and then see if you agree or not. What what is his part? <sighs> Drums. <laughs> no, but that's said feeling, and uh, and what does he do? What does he? I can answer this very well. King fool. Andy, <laughs> Andy's he's quite unusual in the in the in the drumming department. That he's one of the few drummers that um, I've seen. Oh, and they're, they're quite rare that he uses the drum kit like a musical instrument rather than just a, a thing that keeps time. And when there's, do you understand what I mean? So when there's when there's three of you, um, there's so much space in your music that. I, th I think it requires that, but um, Andy's approach to it is, he f you know, he, fill he fills a massive space, and it's much more, um, it's much more. What's the word? Better. That's <laughs> 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 the one. It's not very good English, but I like it. <laughs> Like Which I know better. before, you know, like you've heard before that we t I think we may be you talking pictures better than you do in language. <laughs> but I like certainly a, dance a better about architecture. Yeah. Comic. And his part? Oh, Pete's part? No, no. Yeah, what, do you, what, do, what about Johnny? Oh no, well, yeah. uh, mm. I, sorry, I thought Pete's part, I don't know, I think Pete is the soul of the band. Yeah, this thing wouldn't be happening 
without Johnny, obviously, because he writes the song, and it wouldn't be happening without Peter, because he's, he's the doer in the band. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it wouldn't be happening without Andy, because we're always going to be kind of Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good little... Uh, it seems to work OK, doesn't it? Yeah. So far, it's all good. And has it changed through the years? The equilibrium? Uh, yeah. No. N- not really. I think I'm gaining more power every day. How? <laughs> 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 see, I, I'm not even aware that there's any kind of power struggle no, going on. I'm purely no, really. joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, Andy, Andy's played a lot of keyboards, Andy and Pete have both played a lot of keyboards on this last LP, the, the last LP we just made. And uh, that's, that's been pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, a bit of a development, playing a few more instruments. Okay. And um, can you still remember what you thought when you met each other? <laughs> Yes. Oh, you sh- I can remember meeting Johnny. No, well, I was in a bit of a state at the time. I, I did, let's not go back No, it was there. fine. No, it was fine. <laughs> and we were just like, God, that's Johnny there, me and Bruce. Bruce like that. We met Johnny Friendly, didn't we? Johnny Friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't know. I seem to remember being quite embarrassed. No, it was fine. And my first, my first night out with Johnny was... Um, I met him in a, in a club in Manchester night and day, and after we'd finished doing something in there, we went out for a drink, and Johnny kind of showed us Manchester. I'd just moved to Manchester. Okay. And I, then I, I just remember walking Johnny's up and Manchester. down. It's a place called, called Canal Street in Manchester. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it, you know, all the bars, they all knew him. It was like, hey, John, how are you doing? I was like, bloody hell, he must be famous. I said, everybody knows him. <laughs> Canal know. Street is as well known <laughs> as the, 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 gay, the gay district of Manchester. <laughs> okay. and I do, and I, and I do have very it's many nice friends place. in there. It is, and we drink there quite a lot, and that is true, is it not, John? It is true, that did happen. When I say loads of people, I mean I've n- no more than two. <laughs> but, you know, it didn't happen where I came from. People shouting out of bars, recognising for, you know. Okay. And um, I was wondering, what is this, because I, I spoke to Johnny, um, how would the two of you compare the first two albums with this one? Within a few words or lines? Because well, I think this one is a great deal more kind of confident and uh, it's certainly tougher sounding and I think it's the, I think it's the best thing we've done and I'm not just saying that I do as well I think it's 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 bold we were we were um we did what we wanted to do in a very comfortable atmosphere and we which, enjoyed which, doing which, it. which which was the the most recent LP no but I mean which uh, what what was the thing that you wanted to do what was the thing that I wanted to do? Yeah, because you were saying we were doing what we wanted to do, but I was wondering... All right, I wanted to, wanted to work with um, people that we were friends with and we admired and knew that they were talented. We wanted to organise the studio, the producer, everything ourselves, negotiate the money like we always did, um, a hands-on band, don't really need any help from anybody else. And we were allowed to do that with no interference and it was such an enjoyable process making the LP in Manchester in a studio that was kind of like a museum of old um, instruments, as well as being a really uh, comfortable place to be. That, that that put us in such a good mood that a lot of people say, oh, pressure of this third album, you know, because it's really important. Didn't feel that at all, I felt like, mm. you know, real, you know, felt a real sort of back in the fight and the best stuff we've done was, was done. And every day we did a tune. It's done about three and a half weeks. It's okay. really quick. Uh, it was, and you know when you come and play and you come and talk to people about it if you didn't enjoy the making of this LP um, what we're doing now would be painful beyond belief mm. you know doing interviews about yeah, something talking we didn't about like, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah ok um, last question um, if you have a favourite on the album a song name one and why if you don't if you say two or three or I can say it also ok but stars look familiar and why makes my girlfriend a little bit weepy yeah? And she don't weep very often, man. I had no yeah. idea about that. Oh, uh, it's one of my, I think it's probably one of my favourites, but you okay. know, I can't separate it. I listened to it the other day and it's like, oh, nice one, there's this one, there's this one, brilliant. Ah, I like Gods and Monsters and I like Ordinary Girl. Because okay. there's a xylophone on it. The whole thing is spooky, Ordinary Girl, but there's a xylophone track on there that you can't really hear, but it's got an atmosphere, Andy's playing it. It makes the whole thing really... Pretty wonky, isn't it? Yeah, I like it a lot. It, c- it feels like That's exactly wonky. like when it, when it come up with a song that it should be kind of sh- it should be a kind of like a, a a mystery, a little mystery play, and that's what it sounds like. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Martin.